Hi there, the following video will answer how to do question 3, part II of the OCR Core 3 Maths January 2010 class paper. The question says to use Simpson's rule with two strips to find an approximation to the integral between 20 and 10 of 60 over x dx. Do notice, we've already integrated this and worked out the exact answer in part i. Now we're using Simpson's rule with only two strips to approximate this integral. A quick picture might be useful of what this looks like here. Imagine you've got a pair of axes here. 1 over x looks like this type of function here. So 60 over x looks very like that. Um, it's a bit steeper, so it looks something like this. Now we're integrating this function between 10, x is 10, and x is 20. And we're trying to approximate this integral here. It's said to use two strips. So we're going to divide up this distance here between 10 and 20 into 2. So basically we're going to have a strip here at 15. Each strip, what's the height of each strip or the width of each strip, it will be equal to b minus a over how many strips we want. Our b is 20, take away our a is 10, and we want two strips, so that's going to be 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Our h is equal to 5. Now, what does Simpson's rule tell us again? Well, Simpson's rule tells us that the area is approximately equal to a third h. The first, this call, this here is will be the value of the function at x0, x0 is equal to 10, is y0, and the value of the function at the next ordinate, x1, will be y1, and the value of the function at the last ordinate, x2, will be y2. It tells us that the area is approximately equal to third times h, the first y ordinate, y0, plus the last y ordinate, y2, plus four times the odd ordinates, four times the odd ordinates, which is y1 in this case. Usually with the Simpson's rule, it's also two times the even ordinates. We don't have any even uh, y ordinates here, so there's nothing else to add here. So the area is approximately equal to this. Okay, let's go ahead and work out y0, y2, and y1. y0 is the value of the function 60 over x when x is equal to 10. So y0 must be 60 over 10, which is 6. y1 must be 60 over 15, which is 4. And y2 must be 60 over 20, which is 3. Now we can use this formula. We know h, we know y0, y2, and y1. I'm just going to do this in a different pen to make it easy to follow. The area is approximately, therefore, equal to a third h, so that's a third multiplied by 5, multiplied by y0 is 6, plus y2 is 3, plus 4 times y1, which is 4. Let's do this in our head. 6 plus 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 9 adds 16 is 25. So we get a third times 5 times 25, which is simply 5 times 25 is 125. So this simplifies to 125 over 3. This is the approximation here. We've approximated the area under this curve between 10 and 20, and we've said it's approximately 125 over 3. Let's just remind ourselves of the Simpson's Rule formula. H was the width of each strip. It's the last ordinate, take away the first ordinate, divided by how many strips you've got. 10 take away 20 over 2, because we want two strips. And we use the formula here, the Simpson's Rule formula, that says the area is approximately a third times this H, multiplied by first y-ordinate plus the last y-ordinate plus four times the odd ordinates plus two times the even ordinates. There are no even uh, y-ordinates here, so we just end up with this simplified version of the formula. Thank you.